Ants have a fascinating and complex social structure. At the heart of this society is the nuptial flight, an aerial dance of love and procreation. Nuptial flights are crucial for the life of a colony. They mark the moment when winged ants leave their nests for a dangerous journey. They participate in a synchronized mating ritual, crucial for their survival. Queens mate with multiple males, collecting sperm to fertilize their eggs. These flights coincide with specific environmental cues to maximize mating. The timing of nuptial flights is crucial for ants, ensuring successful mating and new colonies. Warm and humid days provide the ideal conditions for these insects to take to the air. The heat provides energy for flight while the humidity prevents their wings from drying out. Calm wind is essential to prevent the ants from being blown off course. Queen ants are the heart and soul of an ant colony, larger than their worker companions and with wings during their nuptial flight, queen ants are easily identifiable. Their primary role is reproduction, ensuring the survival and growth of their colony. After mating, the queen ant sheds her wings, a symbolic act representing her transition from a flying adventurer to the settled matriarch of a new colony. The queen ant is responsible for laying all the eggs that will become the colony's workforce. She uses the stored sperm from her nuptial flight to fertilize these eggs, producing both male and female offspring. The female offspring will become worker ants, tirelessly tending to the needs of the colony, while the males also winged will eventually leave the nest to participate in future nuptial flights. The queen's longevity and reproductive capacity are astonishing. Some species have queens that can live for decades, laying millions of eggs throughout their lifetime. Section 4. Ants in the Great White North nuptial flights in Canada. Canada is home to a surprising diversity of ant species, each with its own adaptations. Nuptial flights typically occur from late spring to almost early winter in some species. The most common species are the pavement ant, the carpenter ant, and the odorous house ant. Tetramorium immigrants or pavement ants make their nests in cracks in the pavement. Camponotus or carpenter ants prefer to nest in wood. Monomorium pharonis or feral ants seek food and shelter inside homes and buildings. Section 5. Searching for royalty, where to find queen ants. For the curious observer, witnessing a nuptial flight can be a fascinating experience. The best time to find queen ants is shortly after a nuptial flight when they descend to the ground to start new colonies. Look for areas with loose soil or sheltered spots near trees and plants, as these places are ideal for a queen to start digging her nest. Remember that observing ants in their natural habitat is a privilege. If you decide to start ant keeping, it is always good to educate yourself with the basic information and their care in order to avoid losses and be able to adequately assist your queens. It is always good to identify them in order to better understand their needs. Ant keeping is a very relaxing method of having a pet. By this, I mean that it is a low consumption pet and that it is possible with proper care to have companions that last for decades. As I mentioned, 